Hello, this is question two from the summer set of exams 2020 paper 2-1 put on by Cambridge International Education. You can find a link in the description below this video that will give you an image of this question and I recommend you try it before uh, looking at my solution. Part A of this question asks us to change this, uh, express this equation 3 cosine theta equals 8 tan theta as a quadratic, ex a quadratic equation in sine theta. And maybe first of all it would be helpful to know what we're looking for. We know what a quadratic expression is, a quadratic equation is. It's something, A usually, x squared. But instead of x squared, what if I just left a blank squared uh, plus something, we usually call it B, x. Again, let's leave a blank this time, plus a number equals zero. That's what I'd like this to look like. But instead of the x squared, I'm just going to have a sine theta. A sine theta. That's, that's what they're asking for. They're asking for something that looks like this. How do we do that? Um, we play around with it. We have a look. What, what can we change? What can we, make, what can we make appear? There's lots of choices in uh, trigonometry. But I look at the tan here. I look at the tangent and I think, well, I know one, the most famous way to change a tangent is that it is sine theta divided by cosine theta. Now, what's great about that is we've made a sine up here. That's one thing we wanted. Still no squares and we still have these cosines. But I can already see ahead where they're going to disappear. I wonder if you can as well. Pause the video, see if you can find it. But if you can't, um, a, a common thing probably would be to, to just multiply by cosine theta anyway, because it's on the bottom row, we'd like to get rid of it. So let's multiply everything by cosine theta. We get three cosine squared theta, sorry, cosine squared theta just means cosine theta, uh, cosine theta squared. It's one of the more confusing things in maths. I'll, I'll leave it like this for the moment. Equals eight sine theta. Now the reason I know this is going to help is because another really famous thing in maths is the cosine cosine squared theta plus a sine squared theta is equal to 1. Now that's a very famous one and I need you to remember that. Just like tangent is equal to this. We, we'll give it to you in your formula tables probably, but uh, still, I, you need to remember it. At this level of maths, we're going to use it so much. Um, please try and remember it. And it, it all comes from a triangle. It all comes from this being sine, that being cosine, and that being 1. So that's where that comes from. So in, instead of writing cosine squared, we can write uh, cosine squared is equal to 1 minus sine squared. Let me write that here. It might be clear. 1 minus sine squared theta equals 8 sine theta. So instead of cosine, it is equal to 1 minus this and uh, we're nearly finished this we have a sine squared we have a sine we have numbers and uh, let's just multiply this out a bit we get 3 minus 3 sine squared theta is equal to 8 sine theta let's get everything on the same side and the squares first minus 3 sine squared theta minus 8 sine theta plus 3 equals zero. By the way, this would probably be full marks, this would be full marks, this would be full marks. Uh, I like to leave it though at least at this side. I'm going to go one more line, but I like to leave it looking like this. A number times sine squared, minus three in this case. A number times sine, minus eight in this case, and a number, and it equals zero. Um, yeah, we just tend to, if we can help it, if we can, we don't like to leave minus here. So how about I just multiply everything by a minus? 3 sine squared theta plus 8 sine theta minus 3 equals 0. This is my final answer, but you'll definitely get full marks for this one. Nearly definitely. I'm not 100% sure you'll get full marks for this. And probably, I'd say 70% chance you'll get full marks for this one. Uh, but still, I like to leave my answers like this if we're going to use them in the future, which part B of this question, we are going to use them. So I'll just rub this out and make a bit of room for that. Okay, part B. I've wrote this line out again because we're going to start with that. Part B asks us to find the acute angle for which 3 cosine theta equals 8 tangent theta. 
Well, let's not try and solve this one. Let's solve this much easier one. That's why they made do, us do it. Whenever they use the word hence, that's a clue that we're going to use the information from part one. So um, this is just a quadratic. If you start thinking of this as x squared, if you think of this as x, it's no different than your other quadratics. You can go ahead and use the minus b formula if you want, minus 8 plus or minus the square root of 8 squared minus uh, 4 times 3, 4ac, yeah, minus 3 here, all over 2 times, 2 times 3. This will give you an answer. This will give you sine, instead of x equals, this will give you sine theta equals. You get two answers. That's perfectly okay. Um, I think we can do better than that. Let me rub this out so it looks a little clearer. But you, you can do that if you want. We can factorize. We get two factors out of this guy. Again, this is just x squared, so we just get an x and an x. Or a sine theta and a sine theta. There's a tree here, so there has to be, one of these have to, these two have to multiply to get, basically these two numbers here have to multiply to get three sine uh, theta squared. So three will work, three sine theta, by 1 sine theta is 3 sine theta squared. Because 3 is a um, prime number, it's the only thing that will work, the only whole number. And it's not a whole number, it's probably easier to use the minus b formula. Okay, so these two numbers multiply to get this. We need two numbers to multiply to get uh, minus uh, 3 here. So let's see, what could that be? 3 and 1 probably. 3 and 1 are going to get minus. As 3 and 1 will get a 3. But is it a 3 here or a 1? 3 here or a 3 here? So we need to think what will get the 8. 3 by 3 will work. 1 by 1, that will get 9 minus 1 should work here. So let's see. Uh, if this guy is a plus, we'll get plus 9. And we'll get minus 1 gets plus 8. And a minus 1 by a plus 3 will get a minus 3. Everything seems to work there. If you're not good at factorizing like this, that's okay. Lots of students are, even really good students, students that get A's, sometimes are not good at doing this. That's okay. Use the minus B formula, as I just did out there. You will get the answer, and it's not too, it's not too much longer if you're very quick at it. And this one's a bit shorter though, if you know what you're doing. Right, so we get two answers here. I'll do this one first, because it's interesting. Uh, sine theta is equal minus three. Well, that's impossible. Remember what sine looks like. It's always in this world. The highest that ever gets is to 1, and the lowest it ever gets is minus 1. So, it, actually, sorry, that's cosine I drew. Um, sine is here somewhere. It's the same, though. It's between 1 and minus 1. Sine theta will never be minus 3. That is not going to be the right answer. The answer is over here, then. 3 sine theta is equal to 1. Sine theta theta is equal to 1 over 3. Theta then is equal to the inverse of sine 1 over 3. This is just on a calculator. And you'll get an answer I've done here. Depend, is your calculator in radians? Your answer will come out as 0 0.34. And if your, answer, if your calculator is in degrees, it will come out as 19.5 degrees. So this question, yeah, I'm just double checking. This question did not specify whether they wanted radians, so this would be rad or degrees. So you can choose whichever one you want. The examiner will know, they'll know both answers, and they'll give you full marks either way. Personally, I always keep it in rads, uh, because that is the more, that is the, mathematically speaking, it's the better number. Real life, I guess, if you're telling people an angle in real life, you use this degree here. Okay, hopefully that answers, um, all of this question hopefully you followed all of that if you didn't or if you have any questions put them in the comments below and i'll do my best to get back to you thanks for watching and have a great day